good evening everyone i welcome you all in series of kotlin and today our lecture is kotlin control flow so let's move to the next slide uh, in the previous chapter we have learned about the different types of data and available in kotlin system in this chapter we will discuss uh, some of those control flow and its statement so first one is if else as usual we have done it's right from the beginning of the programming that if is an expression then kotlin is functional language as hence like every functional language in kotlin if is an expression it is not a keyword uh, the expression if will return a value whenever it's necessary like other programming language if else block is used as an initial conditional checking operators and we have some examples of that this one is function main uh, you have this arguments array as a string uh, we have this uh, definition of uh, different uh, that variables a and b uh, five and two that we assign of integer type then here is this max uh, we check this if uh, condition that a is greater than b so max is a otherwise if this condition falls then we do with this else max is equals to b so print maximum of a or b is uh, as uh, plus max so it's a concatenation then as expressions and well max uh, if a is greater than b a else b so here five is uh, greater than two so outcome will be uh, five so maximum that outcome value is five because a is greater than b so five is assigned to max and that will be print along with this concatenation operator now move to uh, this is very simple concept so if you have to just go through and to just find out that the syntax and semantics behind in that Kotlin programming language. Next is use of when. If you are familiar with other programming languages, then you might have heard of the term switch statement. So which is uh, basically a conditional operator when multiple conditions can be applied on a particular variable. When operator uh, matches the variable value against the branch conditions, and uh, it's satisfying the branch condition, then it will execute the statement. Same happened with a uh, switch case uh, the different uh, inputs that is given and it matches with that uh, case that given inputs then definitely that will execute at the part so if it is satisfying the branch condition then it will execute the statement inside that is scope in the following example we will learn uh, more about when in Kotlin so function uh, main here is that we have arguments array string uh, we have value x integer 5 when x so x equals to one, x equals to two. So both of these uh, conditions are false, else part will run and it print x is neither one nor two. So use of when is, uh, this is something which is uh, very, very similar that uh, switch case we have, but here the, the way you are using it's uh, point to remember when x and x is having the value five. So this is, that syntax is very, very important that we have to remember. Now come to the next statement that's a for loop. Uh, it's a very, very useful loop and it's a, such an invention that provides flexibility to trade through any kind of data structure uh, like some other languages. Kotlin also provides many kinds of looping while and do while as well. So among them for is the most successful one. The implementation and the use of for loop is conceptually similar to the Java for loop. The following example shows how we can use the same in real life examples. So, it's very similar story that function main elements every string. We have list of items, one, two, three, four, I in items. So I is working as iterator, a variable and print an value of array plus I. So it starts printing one, two, three, and four. That will be the outcome of this. So this is the way you have to use this. As we know under the four, we have this initialization condition and iteration. So for I in items, and this list of items is here we have. So outcome will be values of array one, values of array two, values of array three, values of array four. This is the way it, it just works. So now next one is the while loop and the do while loop. So we all know that while is a pre-testing and do while is a post-testing. So while and do while work exactly in a similar way like they do in other programming languages. The only difference between these two loops in case of do while loop, the condition will be tested at the end of the loop. As I said to you that it's a post testing concepts and in the while loop it is pre. So here we have a function main 
and variable x integer equals to zero. And finally, print out an example of while loop while x is less than equals to 10, print out an x, x plus plus. So here it prints that value from zero to 10. So outcome will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that will be the outcome. And once its value becomes 11, it will be false and it will, this loop will be terminate. So this is the way uh, that while and do while. Uh, basically, these type of uh, sessions are important for the objective type of questions or even for some of the notations that we have to remember in MCQs as well as in for the interview type of questions. Because there is, logic is very, very si similar, but the thing that the syntax is a little bit different, so you have to remember that. Next one is the use, use of return on the break and continue. So if you are familiar with some other languages that must have an idea of the different keywords that helps us implement good control flow in the application. The return, return is a keyword that returns some values to the calling function from the called function. In the following example, we will implement the scenario using uh, that Kotlin uh, coding background. So function main here, we have a variable x integer 10. And finally, here is a function double me, which is called over here. And finally, it returns two into x. So x will be replaced here with 10, then two into 10. So it will become 20. So outcome will be the value of x is double hyphen, it exactly 20. So answer will be the value of x is double hyphen 20. So this is the way this return, that keywords return some values to the calling uh, function from the called function. So it is very, very important in uh, most of the programming languages. Now next is uh, continue and break. Continue and break are the most vital part of a logical problem. The break keyword terminates the controller flow as we generally see that in C programming and switch as uh, here we also, we may use with some other clauses as well. The break keyword terminates the controller flow if some conditions has failed and continue does the opposites. All these uh, operations happens with immediate visibility. Kotlin is smarter than other programming languages wherein the developer can apply more than one level as visibility. The following piece of code shows how we are implementing uh, this level in Kotlin system. So here we have this function, print an example of break and continue. My level for X in one and so on 10, ap applying the custom label. So if X equals to five, so definitely uh, it breaks that controller flow, but because this condition is not true, so it starts from one, two, three, four. So it prints, I am inside else block with value one. I'm inside else block with value two. I'm inside else block with value three and four. Once this value, X value becomes five, it will go here if clause is going to be true. And I'm inside if block with value five, hence it will close the operation. So it will just terminate that and break that controller flow and finally just exit. So this is the way this uh, that, uh, walks, continue and break. So this is very important for our perspective of the concept that we have seen today. Uh, it's a basic and uh, from next uh, video onwards, we will start with working with IntelliJ and some point of time we will work on Eclipse as well along with the IntelliJ IDE, uh, which is very, very helpful for Kotlin programming. Thank you very much. If you like these videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you may get the notification of the latest uploaded video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.